Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to have a look in on the African night crawlers in the urban worm bag. I had a little breeding experiment, side experiment going on. So let's see what they're doing. Tea bag. Those eventually do seem to break down. I guess, you know, silk or whatever it's made out of is capable of being broken down, but it takes like a year. A little crazy. Looks like they're doing a good job making me some castings. Uh, I should probably do a harvest here this week. But let's let's kind of dig around and, and see if there's any food left. I did give them a corn, corn on the cob, uh, whole actually. So they've eaten all of the wrapper. Why can't I think of that word? Uh, silk looks like they're done almost, but that was left in my freezer for about a year at the bottom, and that looks like they've gone through it in about a week. Let's see what else is in there. How many pieces of corn did I give them? I don't remember. Oh, at least, at least two. So they've they've eaten in the the entire husk, and they're getting into the corn now. It's it's not dry in here. There's so many castings that it does look a little dry but it's it's not this is about the moisture that I run the bins at just making sure there's anything else we should, could look at be looking at feel something down there um, yeah another piece of corn so they've eaten the stalk the silk must be harder to eat than the husk because it seems like they're leaving that for last but there they are bury that back under there and then today I'm gonna do something a little different I haven't got around to shredding anything lately so I'm just going to put cereal boxes down and then give them a good size feeding all right I know some people are freaking out because this is glossy you know hard paperboard stock it's going to be fine anything that is meant to be food packaging is totally fine I'm in the food biz I'm telling you they would not be putting your cereal your granola bars and your food mix in something that was toxic so I'm going to now feed them up with something pretty wet um, lost two loaves of bread that got stuck behind the cabinet and so that's what they're going to get they're going to get and I just soaked the bread in water it's already fairly moldy so I'm going to give them what is two loaves of bread that has been put back into dough form and then I'm going to cover them up with more stuff And then give them a little bit of castings on the top. Get them excited about it. They'll go through that bread in less than a week. I imagine the next time that we look in on this bin, we won't find any of that bread, but there will still be some of that cardstock um, paper. So let's. Uh, see this back in another week and see what we've got all right guys if you like the video give me a muddy thumbs up if you're not already a member of my worm family click that subs subscribe button and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it ring that little bell icon all right guys thanks for hanging out with me and my worms everybody have a good day